Hey everyone, welcome back. Also, just want to say please excuse the sunburn on my nose. Um, yeah, that happens when you live in Arizona and my shirt kind of matches it. So this is now my second video of the college series and today I'll be going over things that you should consider bringing to your dorm room at college. So I remember when I was first starting school as an undergrad, I was frantically searching for the perfect list of things to buy to bring to a dorm room, and I never really found the perfect one. I found some YouTube videos that came close, and of course everyone's list is going to look different. But I decided to make my own list and share it with you all. All of these things could probably be bought at your campus bookstore if it's easiest, but I found it much more affordable to purchase them off campus. I think I bought most of mine at Target. I also want to say, I know this sounds like a lot of stuff, but I promise you I used all of these items at least once, likely more. So it's not a waste, I promise, and you'll be glad that you bought them. And feel free to pick and choose whatever works for you. But anyways, let's get started. So first, beginning with bed items. If you didn't know, the dorm beds are extra long twin size, so make sure to buy fitted sheets and a comforter that is XL twin. I would also recommend purchasing two sets of bed sheets so when one is being washed then the other one is there and ready for you to use. So the next thing I have on my list and this one's completely optional it's a mattress pad. Um, I have back issues. <laughs> I sound old when I say that but um, I didn't find the dorm beds to be the most comfortable so what I ended up doing is my dad got this big piece of foam and cut it out to match the measurements of my bed put that on the mattress and then a mattress pad over that and that helped my back quite a bit. I also have on here a small area rug for in front of your bed. An extra blanket or two comes in handy. And then this also depends on how you prefer to study. I know a lot of people like to go and study in the library or with friends. I honestly did a lot of my studying in bed and I still do to this day even though I have a desk. It's just where I always end up it seems like. Um, but if you're going to do that, there's two things that I recommend getting. One is a little mini laptop desk that you can sit on your lap to put your laptop on. And then the second one is, I don't know the proper term, but it's like one of those backrest chairs with the arms. Now moving on to more storage type items, I would recommend bringing at least one or two of your own plastic drawers. I would also recommend small storage bins to slide under your desk. Um, so you can save some extra room as far as storage goes. For food and cooking, I would recommend bringing a mini fridge. Some people decide to just have one and share it with their roommates to save space. So I think in the end we ended up having two or three. Um, we just found that it was kind of hard to fit four people's food in one fridge. Microwave, again, most dorm halls have one in the kitchen that you could use or you could decide to share one with your roommates, but make sure it's not just any microwave because I think for our dorm hall, the highest amount of watts you could have was 800 for a microwave, um, just for fire hazard stuff. So make sure you double check on that. Some people like to bring their own cooking utensils and like pots and pans and stuff like that. Um, I found that most dorm halls have their own that you can like rent out and use. Um, so you don't necessarily have to bring your own. Some people also decide to bring their own Tupperware. Um, you can also do that and if you decide to, I would say bring your own dishwashing detergent and like a small sponge or something. Some people like to bring their own dishes too. Again, not mandatory. I didn't do that. I think I mostly use paper plates and I ate at the dining hall a lot. But what I had, and it's kind of long so I'll read it, um, water bottle, Ziploc, plastic bags, small cups, plates, bowls, forks, knives, and spoons, and they don't have to be fancy, I use plastic ones, and that works just fine. Next up I have cleaning supplies, and again, our dorm was a little unique in that there was someone that would come around, I think it was once a week, to clean everyone's bathroom, so we didn't really have to have like an extensive stockpile of cleaning supplies, and again, those were available at the front desk if we did need to check them out. But there are some useful things to have just in your room. For example, things like Febreze. I would bring most dorms don't allow candles or scentsy things or anything like that. Things like paper towels, pledge, and Clorox wipes are also very useful. Other things like vacuum cleaners and brooms and things like that, I didn't bring personally. I know people that brought their own like little vacuum cleaners and you're welcome to do that, um, but most of the time people got them from the front desk. This one I think is important, a laundry hamper that's easy to carry up and down stairs. 
there were multiple stairs in our dorm hall and I always saw people struggling with their big laundry baskets carrying it up and down stairs. And of course, laundry detergent, dryer sheets, stain remover um, for your laundry. I found the Tide Pods to be most useful because they're already like pre-portioned out and you can just throw them in there. Our dorm came with one larger trash can, I think, and we put that in the bathroom. So I would recommend bringing at least one or two smaller trash bins um, and small trash bags for those. Next category, I have desk items and school supplies. First up, I have printer, printer paper, and printer ink. Um, this one depends on where you're living because I know many dorm halls don't allow wireless printers. If that was the case for my dorm, so make sure you have the little USB cord that connects your laptop to the printer. If you're not able to get your own for your room, um, I would think it's safe to say that all libraries have printers available. There might be like a small fee you have to pay, um, but for the most part, there are always ways to get your stuff printed. I also have a desk lamp, tissues, um, a small mirror for doing your makeup at your desk if you need it because if you have multiple roommates um, There's probably going to be people needing the bathroom and stuff You're not always going to be able to do your makeup in the bathroom Especially if you have like the community style bathrooms You're probably not gonna want to spend a lot of time in there doing makeup while people are coming in and out So just a small little mirror for your desk Make sure you have a comfortable backpack if you want to write letters to friends and family which I did quite often um, bring envelopes, stamps, and address labels, and then just a small like pencil pen holder. It's helpful to bring at least one flash drive, I would say, just in case you need it for like a project presentation or something. But for the most part, and this is going to be like the most important suggestion I make in this video, if you don't use it already, I would highly recommend using Google Drive. Anyone who has a Gmail account automatically has access to this for free. I used it for all of my papers and presentations, and you can export it to whatever format you want. I know a lot of teachers like Microsoft Word format, a lot like PDF, and it got kind of hard trying to switch between the two, so Google Drive usually takes care of that. And then the best part about this is that it automatically saves your work like every few seconds or so. I know there's probably nothing more frustrating than when you're finishing up a huge paper, a huge project, and your computer crashes and you lose everything. Um, Google Drive kind of avoids that issue because it's automatically saved and you don't have to go through any like file save as or anything It just does it automatically um, Whenever you make changes to the document. So definitely use that for college And then I'm just gonna read off my paper for this list of school supplies that I would recommend So I have binders notebooks your laptop and laptop case if you have one if not, again, you can usually rent those out at the library. Pens, pencils, erasers, tape, scissors, an academic planner if you like to plan out your days and weeks, um, page markers for textbooks, calculator, sticky notes for reminders. I think we often forget that calculators or a lot of them that you use for college classes have to be charged, so don't forget your calculator charger. Phone charger, laptop charger, a pencil pouch for your backpack. Um, I would get a small book of index cards. Those could be really helpful for studying. Three hours later. Highlighters, permanent markers, a three hole punch, mini stapler, loose leaf paper, binder dividers, and earbuds for when you're studying or walking to class. And again, you can choose to get as little or as much of this as you want. Next, bathroom items. Forgot to mention that in the dorm that I lived in for my freshman year, we had our own private bathroom in the room. We didn't have like the communal bathrooms. Um, so that might make a little of this unique, but I've tried to put in things that would also work for a communal bathroom. So obviously toilet paper and a toilet paper holder if you have your own bathroom. And if you happen to have private bathrooms like my dorm did, I would recommend a new shower head because usually the ones that come with it kind of have bad water pressure. And if you have thicker hair, um, it can be a struggle. I would recommend a little shower caddy to put like your shampoos and soaps and stuff in to carry to and from the bathroom. Hand soap, a bathrobe or towel wrap, and then any of the toiletries that you find necessary, like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, anything that you use on a regular basis, I would bring. Then a set of towels and washcloths. So I bought four of each of these. If you do your laundry regularly, I did mine like one to two times a week. 
then that amount of towels should be plenty. Any hair products you use, and if you do bring um, like heat styling products for your hair, I would recommend one of those. Hang on, let me go get it actually because it's hard to explain. I don't know the proper term for these, but I remember I got it at Target and it was a lifesaver. Um, it's this little thing. Um, and I put my curling iron and hair straightener in there so they can cool off and um, you can avoid the mistake of setting your curling iron on your plastic drawers and having it melt through. I might have done that. So that's a must if you are bringing like heat products, makeup bag and makeup necessities. And then if you are using community bathrooms and maybe even if you're doing private bathrooms as well, um, I would recommend like shower shoes or flip flops of some type. Next up for clothing and closet items, lots of clothes hangers. I would recommend the clothes hangers that have like a little piece of rubber on each side so it avoids having like your tank top slide off the hanger. All the clothes and pajamas and sweatpants and whatever that you think you need. And it also depends on like your extracurriculars. Like if you're in a sorority, you're probably gonna need more dresses than the average student. Then I would say a small jewelry bin and container to keep those things in so they don't get tangled and stuff. And then lastly for your closet, I would recommend a shoe rack. I found a pretty cool one at Target that I still have where it kind of like expands or goes into the size you want it so you can avoid like having one that doesn't fit your closet or whatever. It can adjust to any size you want. Next up, just miscellaneous items. This is the fun part. I know you may not think that you'll get sick, but trust me, you will, especially living around a lot of people. And with the virus concerns right now, this is especially important. Make sure you always bring things for in case you get sick or hurt. I got sick a lot my first year. Next up, I have batteries because you never know when you're gonna need those or when the battery on something runs out. It's usually when you need it most. So definitely have those laying around. And again, depending on your dorm situation, I know a lot don't have air conditioning systems, unfortunately. So if that's the case, bring your own fan. And this is another thing I hadn't thought of before. Get a good umbrella that doesn't flip inside out on really windy and rainy days. Yes, I'm talking from experience. If you're planning on hanging up like posters or whatever, bulletin boards, um, I would recommend those little command strips so they don't make holes in the wall and they just kind of pull off easily. And like I just mentioned, if you want a bulletin board, um, tacks for pictures and erasable markers and things like that. I know a lot of people just do Netflix on their laptop now, but if you do watch TV, um, a TV and DVD player is nice to have. I would bring like your favorite 10 or so DVDs and try to bring a variety because you never know. And I think the largest TV we could have in our dorm hall was 32 inches. You might also need to buy like a small TV stand or if a roommate prefers to study at the library, they may be willing to let you use their desk to set the TV on or maybe they have like a thing of drawers they're willing to let you set the TV on. But it all depends on what you and your roommates agree on. Again, our room came with blinds, but many don't. So you can decide to purchase like your own curtain rod and darker curtains. Also, especially if you don't have a private bathroom in your dorm, there's not gonna be a full length mirror around more likely than not. So I would recommend having a full length mirror. Um, I think we put ours on the back of our front door. I also have on here a small speaker for your music if you want it. Um, extension cords. Keep in mind I wrote this list when I was a freshman. So I have on here a lanyard to keep your keys and student ID slash student ID holder on. Um, now looking back, it really screams freshman if you have the lanyard around your neck with your student ID hanging off of it and your dorm room key. So, um, Maybe not do that, but if you're comfortable with it, go ahead. And last up on my list, and probably most importantly, bring whatever will make you feel at home. Um, don't be embarrassed at all if you have like a blanket that you've had ever since you were little or a stuffed animal. Um, no one's gonna make fun of you. Just bring whatever makes you feel most comfortable. But that is all I have on my list. All in all, you can pick and choose what you do and don't want to bring. But I know I really wish I had this when I was first dorm shopping. If you have any questions about what I brought to my dorm room, please feel free to let me know. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.